My name is Ben Porter, and my son is Sebastian. I have never been a part of a support group, and now that I have, I have a great appreciation for them. Um, I want to thank the support group I was with, Healing Wings, uh, sponsored by Conway Regional. It's a group of amazing mothers who have shared their stories with us and have listened to our story as well. They have helped us through our grieving process. My wife and I decided to start trying for kids around two years ago. We became pregnant in July of 21 with our son, Sebastian. We were eager to tell everyone the good news, but decided it was best to wait until the second trimester. September of 21 came along, and we did a big reveal with some cute t-shirts that said, Always read the fine print, and in small print in the lower corner said, We're pregnant. You wouldn't believe how long it took some people to read our darn shirts. Paige is type 1 diabetic and considered high risk and had to have weekly monitoring through January and February at the hospital. She had great results every time, always hitting every mark and keeping her blood sugar in check. However, one appointment we found Sebastian was breech and stayed breech the rest of the pregnancy. Because of this, we had scheduled the C-section for March 9th, which was at 38 weeks. Our last weekend in the pregnancy was finally here. We were building a crib and a dresser and all the things a baby could need. Sunday, we went to sleep feeling satisfied and nervous that it was going to be the last weekend before our lives changed forever. Monday, March 7th, I said my goodbyes to my coworkers as it was the last day they would see me for six weeks. Tuesday, March 8th, we went to a final check to see if Sebastian was still breech, and he was. However, Dr. Six said something we will remember for the rest of our lives. There is no heartbeat. We said, no, no. What? Dr. Six said, I'm so sorry. After some crying and disbelief, she asked if we want, she can check again. We said, yes, please. It was the same result. We couldn't believe it. Everything was fine. Everything was going according to plan. This news was heartbreaking. Paige's mom, stepdad, and sister came over that evening. Her mom, Mandy, stayed the night with us. The three of us didn't get much sleep. How could we? Paige laid in bed knowing our child was gone, but still inside her. We got up around 4 a.m. to go to the hospital for the C-section. The nurses got her ready, and at 7 a.m. they took her into surgery. After an hour, Dr. Sick comes back and said Paige did great, and we can go and see her in recovery. Dr. Sick informed Mandy and I that it was a placental abruption. Paige had none of the symptoms that typically go along with an abruption. We went to her back in recovery, and she was barely awake. I remember her saying, where's my baby? Where is he? We had to keep telling her that. They were getting him ready at the time, and they were taking pictures for us that it was the best time because he would still have some color and warmth. After about 15 minutes, they brought him out in a tiny bassinet. Sebastian Gray was 9 pounds, 11 ounces. They handed him to Paige, and I fell to my knees, letting out a scream of agony. It was the absolute worst moment of our lives. We got back to the room, and kept Sebastian all day. For 10 hours, we got to hold our son and took over 200 photos of him. Several family members were able to come and hold him. He never left someone's arms. He was held the entire day. We got handprints and feet prints. I read him a book Paige brought called I Love You, Daddy. It was the hardest book I've ever read. Uh, we never got to see his eyes but I like to think they're blue, like mine. Around 6 p.m., we agreed we were ready. Funeral home came and took him, and we attempted to rest. The next day, Paige was released, and we took a two-hour nap when we got home. We woke up and went to the funeral home to say our final goodbyes and hold our son one last time. I now have a greater appreciation for parents, children alike, and I'm a better person for it. Thank you, Sebastian, for this gift. I love you, son.